Make a gazillion decisions before lunchtime. I enjoy the process of standing in front of the mirror, shaving my head. It's therapeutic. <laughs> <laughs> I got these flowers for you. I know you said they're your favorite color. Are they really? For real? No, blue is 100%. Well, I just have to, I have a little confession. I got these flowers for you, um, and I also got some pizza, but I didn't bring you any because I got too hungry. And I figured you're a bachelor and you probably don't have any food in your house. So I wanted <laughs> okay. to make sure that I got my own food. Let me just see if I was right. Let me see if I was right. You are right. Yeah, I was right. You have absolutely no food in the house. We have drinks. Do you have any wine at least? Do you oh, have yeah, any we got a little wine. Did you have wine that? All right, let's start at the front door. All right, let's do that. So, I'm so sorry you are letting me tour your apartments. Mm -hmm. Makes one of us. It only took a month for you to agree to do this. You need to have your apartment on the internet. That's what everyone's doing these days. Yeah, nobody I know. It's. Either way, you. you're here, so let's Except do it. You, so, so let's, let's do, do it. it. Pry. I got your shoes each day of the week. And jackets. Leather jackets. Leather jackets. Leather jackets. You need a, you need a jacket on the motorcycle. Like, you're when super. It shows it. You even have so shoe horns. Like, look shoe. how fancy he is. Do you have champagne? Oh, yeah, we got champagne. You gotta figure there's like a gazillion types of champagne. Let me just start with this one. Yeah, with a smaller bottle, because it's just you and me. How about... I'll do it this! How about we just... Can we... Guys, if it were you, wouldn't you start with the big one? Alright, we're really opening this up. I'm not joking. I know. Right, I'm gonna have a real drink. You can have some champagne. No, I actually... What, what do you mean? Champagne is not a real drink? Well, I'm gonna have a harder drink. Mm -hmm. actually a little bit of food in my apartment, I promise. I have eggs, and then the rest is just beer and mixer drinks. But eggs are protein. And <laughs> there is actually a massive hunk of ice in the freezer for chipping. And every once in a while, Sunday morning, I like to have a nice salad breakfast with bacon, a pancake mix, but it is, there is real food here. So I really am domestic, I promise you. Very domesticated. Pretty much anything you can look for. Mostly in the glassware department. I have enough place to host Thanksgiving dinner for the Patriots. And of course my favorite bar in the entire city, I may have stolen one. One glass, only one. Hopefully they don't see this. And of course, my favorite cup, the entire cabinet, it's a Porsche mug. Nice big cup of coffee. Why do you have a Porsche cup? <laughs> this compliments the car very nicely. That yeah. means you have a Porsche. Yeah, it's in the garage. <laughs> a little humble brag, it's okay. Yeah, I don't want to brag, but yeah, it's a nice car. So real quick, we'll stop at the general liquor bar. I give, me, give me an overview of what you have. So the top is mezcal and tequila, and the bottom is literally everything else. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Are these bottles that you bought yourself, or were they gifts from people when they come to your house? I'd say about 80% myself, because I like to have a, a lot of different types. You got money! <laughs> so we got uh, tequila that's infused with lime and jalapenos. And how long has this been sitting? So it was infused with jalapenos for about 18 hours. Okay. Because it gets spicy as hell. You got a bottle of Hennessy. You can never go to anyone's house and not see Hennessy. I got a backup bottle in the cabinet. Tell me about your last and final shelf. The final shelf? Yes. The top shelf is uh, stuff I only drink when we're celebrating. So top shelf? Top shelf. The real literal Sales top deals, shelf. things like that. Yeah, top shelf. And you've got more scotch. Still not everyday scotch. drinking. Everyday drinking is on the bottom. That's like it's empty. <laughs> yes, empty. There's nothing there. It's like some serious lead crystal. This is like... My mom gives me this stuff all the time. I could never have this in my house. I'm what? way too clumsy. So that's why I <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Oh, you're a
company. What's the name of your company? Do a little shameless plug for the people here. All right. Uh, it's the Julia Group Real Estate. We have about 100 agents. We do sales, rental, commercials. We started as a group of six agents, and uh, and somehow we've just grown and grown and grown, and, and uh, that's it. That's the sales pitch. And then where are you located? We're in Midtown. We're right near Macy's on uh, 35th and 7th Ave. Talk to me a little bit how you decorated your apartment. Oh, good. How I decorated? Um, I just bought shit that was cool. So this sofa is kind of the anchor because it's it's ginormous and I can't get rid of it. It is huge. I, I, it's, it's super comfortable. It sleeps it sleeps four people. Both of these are like twin size beds if you take out the, the back. And I'm sure you've had four people yeah, yeah, before. Yeah, all the time. But where did you get the couch from? It's restoration hardware. A lot of it's restoration hardware. How many times do you have people that come over and crash at your house? Because you are in the town, so you're centrally located. So if someone... So we go out and it gets late and every once in a while there's a straggler, somebody who lives on Long Island or somebody who's uptown. We'll just come back here and crash. They heard, a, they heard an Uber though, right? Yeah. You have a barrel in your apartment. So, very cool. This is I, very rustic. I worked my ass off for no pay one summer. Okay. I was super young because I wanted this barrel. It's a Jack Daniels barrel. And it's empty. Empty? And it's there. And the D for the Julia. And the D for the Julia. Is this another eBay purchase? No, it's like a Marshalls or Home Goods. <laughs> like a... You do Marshalls and Home Goods? <laughs> Hell yeah. You're a real person. <laughs> I joke around with people, but I actually do have a dog. He's low maintenance. Be, be careful. He, that's him. This is your dog. Just be super careful. He, I really care about him. One time, he broke both of his legs. And I had to super glue him back on. And then shoe pile, I said, shit. <laughs> the you super must glue. really love this dog. He's been with me for a long What's time. What's your dog's name? I, well, he doesn't have a name. Give him a name. You have to give him a name. I will think of it. It's, it's only been like 12 years he's been with me. I like Brownie. His name is Brownie, you guys. <laughs> Justin has agreed to do a little experiment with me, a cooking show, so to speak. We cooking? Actually, are we actually cooking? Yes. Well, we're not cooking. You are cooking. And I want to base it like a little bit of a cooking show and relationship advice, storytelling, something to that degree. Right? But my theme is, is that I believe in my personal opinion that it's a man's job to cook and that you men should cook for me. Opinion. Yes. And I love when guys cook and I think it would just totally be cool to see what guys in New York City think just about relationships in general because I think New York is just so unique. And so Justin has, I think he's a great- I have a great recipe, speaking of cooking, I have a great yes. recipe to set yourself up to have your heart broken over <laughs> and over and over again. It's, it's very repeatable. If you guys have any questions that you want a single guy in New York City to answer, I'm gonna try to get some stories out of him as well. But if you oh have God. any answers, any questions that you want a single guy in New York to answer, please leave them down below. And, and apparently I am also a supplier of content. He's a supplier of content. He's a supplier of food. He's a supplier of alcohol. I mean, isn't that what guys are for? We are on to the bedroom, oh the final room. As they say, this is where all the magic happens, but, but is this actually where all the magic happens? Magic happens on the sofa. You don't even make it to the bed? Oh my gosh. But to be honest, we have never made this bed. Not a single time. Jump. Go for it. <laughs> oh, it's so comfortable. And I think a lot of this is like overstock and like uh, Wayfair or over... Uh... Okay, so first the headboard because this is beautiful. Headboard is It's huge. Where? I think it's overstock. Did you realize it was going to be this big when you saw it online? Yes. It replaces having to put artwork on the wall, I guess. There you go. This is definitely the focus. It draws you in. So when you, when you bring home your lovely friends, you... My friends don't come in this room. Yeah, I'm not talking about those kind of friends. When you bring home your friends, there's nowhere else to go but the bed. Yeah. That's the goal, that's right? A, the goal? If that were me, that's, that would be the goal. That's a goal. <laughs> okay, so the sheets. These look like those fancy sheets where you see 
the coupon codes on the train because they're so expensive. They're like a few hundred dollars. The, these are not the Brooklyn sheets. They're the from Bro they're from Amazon, but they're really nice linen. They're super breathable. Let me see. Jump in the bed. What do you mean jump in the bed? Jump in the bed. Let's jump see. in the bed. Oh god. <laughs> Coming around to this side of the room. What is your favorite thing in this bedroom? One hundred percent the bed. It's the most important thing. Yeah, number one. The bed is dream cloud. The bed is dream cloud. And the bed frame is and dream the bed cloud. The frame is also dream cloud. The bed itself came with a frame, but the dream cloud one came with a frame too. What I need really is a champagne holder over there, a little ice ice bucket over there. Guys, looks look at the view from here. So you don't have a, a nightstand on this side. Why is that? Champagne bucket's gonna go over there. You think I'm joking, I'm 100%. So you sleep on this side. I if sleep right in the middle. You sleep in the middle. Yeah. So you want to roll over to one side to have the champagne and roll up to the other yeah, side to put I the sleep, champagne when down. I sleep and I, I, I sleep on my shoes. I sleep and I take these pillows. I put them on either side of me. So I can't go anywhere. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not in line with the bed. But yeah, I usually use bumpers. We didn't talk about the nighttime view outside. Yeah, this view's not bad. So you've got a park here. And then you've got a view of the entire city. It's beautiful, and then you see more skulls. Who the heck? Guys, let's just... That was a gift. Okay, you're laying down. You're looking at the TV. You see the beautiful skyline of the city. And you turn over, and you freaking see the glowing skull. Every time I see you, you're in a white shirt and blue pants. Yeah, this is my, this is my fall and wintertime outfit. Summertime outfit is white polos and blue shorts. But the blue pants are over here, and uh, this makes life simple. Do you have any other shirt yeah, colors? Yeah, there's, there's shirt colors. Yeah, there's some nice things. Blue shirts, some striped shirts, different type of material. I know guys are not that creative sometimes, so but you're telling me that your essentially your attire is white shirts, blue and white shirts, blue and gray suits. That's it, that's it. Thank you to Justin for agreeing to do this apartment tour. Hopefully, this will get my other friends a little push to do apartment tours as well, right? Just the guinea pig. Yeah. If you are looking for an apartment, don't contact me, contact Justin. Please, please. And where can we find you? Instagram, email, Instagram, Instagram at Justin DiGiulio. DiGiulio spelled somewhere. Okay, everything is gonna be in the description bar below. Thank you. You can go follow him there. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Hey, that's a glowing scope. Is that not the scariest thing ever? Yeah, but imagine like I'm a bad spirit. I came in here to like fuck with you, fuck with your dreams. I come in here, I'm just like, oh man, be a pretty normal dude. Oh fuck, it's Halloween. I don't know. Just get him drinking that. Oh, God. Great, thank you. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> just okay. Kill my liver. Yeah. You have the perfect selfie mirror. Do you actually take selfies? I've here? never taken a selfie in this mirror. Get your outfit. So you just put it here, not for selfies? Yeah. I don't think I've ever actually even looked at it. That's a waste. This is like every girl's dream right here.